Alright, back to the offices. Uh, um, Mr. Wright? So, what's going on with the case anyway? I, I'm a little confused. Eh? Well, um, let's see. What is going on? The victim, Detective Go Bruce Goodman, I almost called him a goose, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 21st. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot and the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out. Or try to, at least. Well, we're Phoenix Wright, so obviously we're going to. All right, let's do it. But she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Was she any help to begin with? Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Would you mind coming with me? I'll prove that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go! Science awaits us! Um, okay. Oh, I didn't even have to actually, like, oh, all right, fine. Just straight into the thick of it. Let's go. You know, I really don't think we should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Of course, it was our victim who was at, who was killed at the department. And my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That oil drum. Was it empty? That oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Yes, we've established. My sister are erasing evidence at the crime scene? Never! Even though she says that they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all! It's just... No, seriously. Can people read Phoenix's mind? What's the part? What's the point of the in parentheses blue text if it's just going to be reacted to anyway? We're both professionals at what we do, and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whether there was bloodstains or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Eh? What's that grin for? This situation calls for one thing, and that is... Luminal testing fluid! L luminal? Blood is sticky stuff, you know. You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. M me? Why do I have to do it? I'm a miner. I can't even drink yet. We're testing blood stains with this stuff, not shrieking it. Hey, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You got an extra pair of those things? Whoa, all right, predator vision, or virtual boy, whichever you prefer. To test for a blood reaction, just spray the luminal on it. Like this, see? Just point to where you want to spray some, and then press the A button. Okay, let's find us some blood stains. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, all right, this is, yeah, all right, okay. I mean, this would be, where to look, right? Okay, ah! Do I just keep spraying the same thing? Yes, I do, okay. I found something! Zoom in, enhance! I can see your eyes shining behind those glasses. So, is this a blood stain? Uh, it's so, ugh. Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, well, we definitely know this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd? Scientifically speaking, of course. What's odd about this, scientifically? Uh, the blood stain's location, the amount of blood? I'm, well, the location makes sense, so the blood amount? The perpetrator and Detective Goodman fought here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little more blood? I definitely think so! I mean, look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe! It's strange. If they fought here, there'd have to be more bloodstains than this. Uh, hey, Mr. Wright. See how I'm marking up the floor plans where we, when we find a bloodstain? Uh, yeah, I guess. See, I'm pretty handy to have around, right? Uh, yeah, that's very useful information to have. I saved up my allowance to buy this. Wow. You're quite the nerd, aren't you? A charming nerd, though. We can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. And we'll drag that hidden evidence out into the light of day. Although, we need to prove a connection. I, I feel like that's important. They've been saying it a lot. Yeah! It feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? This luminal stuff is gonna come in handy. Ha! Oh, hello. Oh, great, it's you. I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice deli box. Miss Star. You only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. This day-old deli box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead-in doesn't really get my mouth watering. 
Oh, goody goody gumdrops, we get to talk to her again. All right. You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but uh, you were kind of lying. Like, lying? No, no, it's okay, it was my fault. Oh, we know. <laughs> I witnessed everything from that security room right there. But I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see. I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry, you lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed, the the, 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 the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab a man in cold blood, and that testimony still stands. Ah. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. I know this photograph is something important to tell us, but what? Uh, hang on. Let me take another look at it. Uh, duh, 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 duh. No, I'm pretty sure that's the other photo. Yeah, we don't have that other photo to look at. Gimme. So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? One could say that, yes. It was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. Two, 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 what's the magic number? No matter how hardened the criminal, when they faced me... They coughed it up. Coughed it up. That's really gross. They confessed. They babbled like babies. You know, so you're just really... You just have intimidation. You're the bad cop in a good cop, bad cop scenario. You know, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel, too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouths of suspect after suspect. And before long, they called me... The Cough Up Queen. Which is gross, because it makes it sound like you're the vomit woman. Oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. <laughs> and you were let go? Uh, fired? You gonna tell us about that? Seems like the kind of thing you'd be secretive about. I felt that I had my found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if these prim and proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. <laughs> oh, she's got cranky face. It's all because of that case. The SL9 incident! The knife! Oh, that, 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 that was not intended, sorry. But the knife! SL, wait, she doesn't mean! Uh, yeah, the honking knife, hang on. We didn't get to talk to you about that, so how about we talk to you about that? Um, what do you think about this? SL9 incident. On that knife. And on that note. Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Oh my God, it's all just coming together. Really? That knife was evidence from that case. The murder weapon. It was due for transferal the very day that Goodman was killed. As I suspected, SL9 isn't over. Not yet. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? Because that would just be swell. Seeing as how literally everybody and their grandma is associated... Okay? I kind of assumed that that would open up a conversation. Alright, how about I hand you this? Da -da -da -da, is this the same thing? And the knife and the note. Yep, same old, same old. Okay, well, that's all fine and dandy and all that other good stuff, but I kind of need, um, more information. Why are you not giving me information? Do I have anything else that could possibly bring this stuff up? Let's see here, hang on. It doesn't appear so? All right, fine. I'm pretty sure there's still stuff I need to talk to her about, but okay. Let's see. Uh, boy. Can I take a look at the muffler? Did they really get everything out there? That's about as red as a sports car can get. Yeah, it's pretty red, all right. The body was found in Edgeworth's car trunk, and the lock on the trunk was broken, too. So the question is, why did this guy choose his car? So what model car is it? I think it was called a sedan or a coupe, something like that. Those are car types, Mr. Wright, not models. You're a guy, aren't you, Mr. Wright? You're supposed to know these things. Maybe it's about time I got my driver's license. <laughs> It's okay, Phoenix. I don't know anything about cars either. My sister knows far more than I do, which is weird. She's not, She doesn't even, like, do anything with cars. She's just knowledgeable about them for some reason. Anyway, is there really, like, nothing gonna, like... Yo! Could you take a look at this? You! Oh, hello. You said you wanted some hot tea, right? Uh, no, but thanks. She didn't even look at it. You must have to brew the leaves a long time to get rich flavor like this. We pre-infuse the leaves with steam before brewing. I knew it! So that's the secret to this aroma. Exquisite. 
The only thing I'm smelling here is wasted time. All right, so that's good. All right, I didn't think that would work. Maybe I can talk about the crime photo itself. If you think about it, I could have taken that picture from the guard room, but even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime and climbed the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murder. That's when I took this photo, yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. Five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. You lying was the problem. Listen, little girl. I've had my testimony disregarded, discarded before, bleh. and I wasn't about to have it discarded again. Just like that time. <sighs> again with that. Okay, can we talk about that now? There it is! That's when I learned the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I'd ever handled. Yep, and there you go. There's Goodman, there's Marshall, everybody. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it? On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was they never did find decisive evidence. Not even a little. Wait, what? But the criminal was executed, right? Evidence of a sort made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. And you were one of those? Myself and one other person you know well. Wait, could it be? Exactly, Officer Jake Marshall. He's on security detail in the police department, isn't he? Okay, keep on talking, keep on talking. More info is always good. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. Every angel, too. Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over, and he was demoted. I think I might have accidentally skipped a little dialogue there. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side to that case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait, those lunches you sell. There's only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends, boyfriends that can help me investigate. A star's old boyfriends, how many does she have anyway? I bet a baker's dozen. Just when the detectives on the case have disappeared, we find new evidence. There has to be a connection. Well, obviously. So, rookie. Wh what? It seems like you're serious about investigating this case. Well, yeah. Then you should take this. Uh, Salisbury steak lunch? I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Uh, okay. Um, Miss Star? Officer Marshall, is he your, uh, uh, are, are you his... Are, are you going out? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago, when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. But now, now he's so cold. Jake and I are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I, I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall, huh. I wonder if we could find him somewhere. Alright, so I guess you're hanging out. Alright, that's fine. I'm guessing this is, I mean, I can only assume that's, that Marshall is the guy that I can maybe give the stake to. I'm, okay, whoa, hello. It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense. A detective did get killed in their own department. So the evidence room, the scene of the crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk, here it is. She's like a kid in an amusement park. A horrifyingly morbid amusement park. So I guess Six Flags. Oh, a real crime scene. Let's go take a look. Are we legally allowed to do that? Uh, I, I don't have the slightest, but I guess we're going there anyway. Uh... Okay, well, I see, like, a cactus, so I'm assuming that's probably where I'll find Marshall. How about I head here first, though? Hello, hello! Wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a detective in this department, after all. 
Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Ugh, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first, I want to check out the crime scene here. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating. But don't mess up, or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. But it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. Ah, we don't even get a gumshoe to help us now. That's unfortunate. Okay, so apparently... Eh, Alright, I guess we're heading to the security office then. dun 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 a freaking cow skull, really? And this dude has a theme and he rolls with it. What's with the decor in this place? It's very... eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room. The scene of the crime? It sure seems that way. Oh, oh! What's wrong? It's those cacti! They're so prickly, so imposing. It's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. Boom. What I want to know is, if this is the guard station, where's the guard? I have a feeling I know who this guard is already. Oh, alright, well I guess he ain't here. Uh, wait, am I supposed to examine or can I just walk in? Hold up. Okay, I guess I gotta, like, look at the door then. Very well. If this is what needs to be done... Well, first I want to look at the rope. Look on the floor. A lasso! Huh. Looks like it's set up to trap something. A trap here? Wait, I know! Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here. But the lasso missed. You sure have an active imagination. Alright, fine. Uh, just look at the door. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Yeah, that pretty much makes sense. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, can I, like, maybe... Is this part, like, a different part? The evidence room is beyond that door, and we can't go in it, because that's just kind of how it works. Okay, fine, I'm gonna look at these cactus. That sure is prickly. Must be the real deal. Yeah, I would think just one big one would be sufficient. This cactus is a lot like my sister, actually. M Miss Sky? Encased in a cold, rigid shell with thorns pointing in every direction. Just like her. Damn, that's deep. You know, I've been looking at this cactus a while now, and I don't see the resemblance. Uh... It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. Indeed. All right. Can I look at this hat? This incredibly stupid hat? No? Okay. I just wanted to look at your stupid hat. Now, can I look at that skull? No, I can't. Okay, fine. Let's see. Can I look at this computer? It looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the monitor. It says recording. I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out, in and out of here. Although, I guess we're not going to. Alright, can I, like, just walk in? This swinging door makes this place look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. You can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through here, the cactus would fall over. Ow. I'd say it'd be more of a yard myself. Okay, so there ain't nothing that can be done all up in here. Okay. We've gotta find the marshal. This place is changed with frantic or charged with frantic energy as always. Please, well, huh? What's in that? One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you, Detective Gumshoe. Now's no time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. Oh, you mean one of these? Actually, it's not for sale. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. Now's no time for despair. We've caught our criminal. Now we just need evidence. The criminal? You mean? You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? Uh, yeah. I was there. On the same day, yeah, I was there. We don't need a flashback. It's not entirely necessary. Yes, we have a suspect. We just nabbed him. Yes, who is this suspect of the murdering murders? It's the biggest scandal to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy-turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know is I need a steak lunch pronto. Stand around here talking isn't gonna fill my belly. Give him the steak! Wait, don't leave. If you want to know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figured he's down there having a good cry. Later. A, a cry? He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. All right, fine. Uh, I can get there from our lofts. Kind of weird that we have to jump from building to building to accomplish this. There we go, detention center. All right, who's... Who exactly is it here? Still, I do feel better about things. A little. 
I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I, I guess they did. Best to not go too far down that road right now. Things will just get confusing. Ow. What was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator? I, I'd i say I was the perpetrator against... Sir, that's what I'd say. Perpetrated against. Oh, it's you. Ah, oh, uh, hi, greeting, sir. Wait, I know you, you're... You stabbed Goodman? Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth here? Yeah, we, we were there. Officer Meekins, so you're a guard here at the detention center? No, sir, I'm not, sir. I am at a little, I'm a little lost patrolman with like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a rapport? No, sir, I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't, is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't, did you? Uh, perpetrator Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? What? Now this is an unexpected turn of events. OBKB? So, uh, what's the story? Okay, could you not do that? Sir, I'm a patrolman with General Affairs, sir. Sir. Ow, I can hear you fine. Why did they let you have that? Also, I can't help but notice your bandaged up hand. That's the exact same thing that happened with the other guy that... With the lady that guy also was allegedly stabbing people. And it's a business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard office in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the evidence room. Yeah, pretty much. That's right, sir. Because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now the security office was none other than uh, officer was none other than Officer Marshall. Marshall. Then, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. Yeah, wah, 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 wah. All right, you just. Made a, a Yoshi noise. Ow, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this guy doing? So what happened then? After that, sir, I... I... Everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. That is three different colors. Pick one. And when I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Uh, might I ask, what happened to your hand? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. A bandage on his hand. Yeah, okay, making the connection. Just like Miss Sky. Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. First things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. Uh, okay, well first let's talk about the victim. Uh, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Gro Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. If you have to label me a persecutor or victim, sir, then label me victim. Um, I would, but you happen to be in detention, and alive and well at that. Ah, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger, or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So, you didn't know him. Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. So, if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir. None. Nor do I have any regulation of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. All right, uh, let's talk about that hand. And your hands. That happened when Detective Goodman was stabbed? Well, you see, sir, I, uh... Don't you think you should just confess? But sir, 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 but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, when it happened, when the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Eh? Then, when I opened my eyes... I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone, because... Because Detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then, when I looked down, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock. Oh, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body... Disappeared? Huh. That's some story. Okay... Uh, is there something I can present to this man? Oh, hang on, maybe... Dang it, maybe... Yeah, this! Officer Meekins, this is for you! Eek! I'm scared of knives, sir! It's okay, I just wanted you to take a look at it. That's it, sir! Last night, sir, that's the one! I was an apple, sir, in my dream, sir, and I was... I was being peeled! What? On second thought, you don't have to look at the knife. Yeah, he's overreacting to the knife, but I guess he's been through a lot. Okay... What do I do, 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 do? 
I guess let's just start throwing stuff at him. I'm so we can take a look at this. I'm sorry, sir, really, sir, but I have no idea what that is. Maybe you should ask Mr. Edgeworth, sir. He's passing the buck, Mr. Wright. It takes a special kind of man to pass the buck to Edgeworth. Okay, then, uh, I'm just kind of throwing stuff around here. All right, how about this? Um, do you think you could take a look at this? Hey, that's it, sir, that's it, that's it. That's what? My head was a blank until this very moment. But sir, now I remember, I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct! That card, that card was the cause of it all. This ID card? Exactly, sir, that's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir, nothing. I better pry into this one a little deeper. Okay, I assume that means we got a new talking point. Oh, oh okay, uh, that works too. I wasn't expecting one to disappear. Can you tell me what it is you remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a lost little patrolman. A lost little lamb, if you will. As you said earlier. Oh, hello. I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman who was in the evidence room, and that's why you thought he looked suspicious. True enough. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the book so far. Th th that's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So, okay, so you asked him to show the ID card. What did he do? That's the thing! Suddenly he pointed a knife at me! What? Sir, I assure you I was as flustered as you are right now. So I whooped and leapt at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him? Do unto others before they do unto you. My own father's words, sir. But what happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I awoke, I was here. Right. Okay. Reason for arrest. So, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Well, let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman, and the victim who he'd met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. How about that noise? And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir! That's, that's what I wanted to say! That is, I did say something along those lines. Eh? But you still ended up here? They told me that it had to be him, sir, on that day at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room. That's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly? No, but the videotape is quite clear. Eh? Videotape? From the security camera. The crime, my crime, the crime I swore to stamp out. It's there, it's me, it's on tape. Okay, so yet another reason to go to the security room, gotcha. And you wait until now to tell us this. I'm sorry, really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge, I don't deserve it. N no thanks, I have my own. Well, guess you'd better go check out the crime scene. Who became me then? Onwards! To the criminal affairs department, so that I can sort of scoochie my way through. Oh, okay, I guess more stuff will happen. 